hello there I thought I'd share some of the cards that I've crafted over the last couple of months um, I have just posted um, a card craft on YouTube um, recently so the first one I'd like to share with you is this little fairy birthday card um, for a little girl now this paper I actually got from Poundland has the washi tape as well this card actually came from Poundland these embellishments I actually got from the clearance part in Hobbycraft um, I think I paid about a pound for a strip of different fairy um, embellishments which I thought was a good price I like to make some blank cards as well so sometimes I like to send a little note actually through the post so I have got this now um, I did get the um, sticky ribbon and this embellishment from a um, craft um, online and these I got from another from the hobby craft on the clearance these hello little um, embellishments and I paid um, I believe it was like 25p for 10 so I thought for a blank card just to um, send a little note through the post to somebody the same with this one you know if I want to just send a little note through the post um, these I actually got um, as an, uh, a piece of card, quite a few of these different quotes I've used on different projects. They were from Hobbycraft. Um, these um, embellishments I think came from Poundland and the card actually came from an online store. So there we are and it just says you and me. These next two, I've had the embellishments for a while, so I'm not quite sure where I actually got them from, um, but I just thought I would share them. I mean, most of my cards are not that complicated. I'm just getting really into card making just recently. So that's one, and the other one I have is this one. I just think they're so pretty. I love these embellishments, and they just give... A little bit of elegance to the cards this one I got the embellishments on a um, strip from the range and it's like a, a 3d effect as you can see like that and I think it's it's just lovely and I believe this one could actually do for a female or a male I've actually said to quite a few um, YouTubers actually left messages. It's really difficult to make male cards, I must admit. So um, I did have a go and so I've made this one. Um, sometimes I will put um, little um, endearments extra on them, like if it's father, son, if it's for somebody particular. But this one I just wanted to keep an extra male card. So I got these. I think these actually came from the range and this was just some paper I had. Another design I've been playing with is this paper came from one of the books um, from Poundland. I hadn't actually seen it before but I got it recently. Then with another piece of paper I actually cut out the clocks faces and then I use the um, sticky square pads just to raise it up just a little fraction just to give it a little like 3d effect like that the cogs I actually got from Amazon they were reasonably be priced as well this one is really mostly using um, stickers um, I do do some craft projects um, with my friends grandkids so um, we wanted to do something very simple so this paper actually is from one of the pads again from Poundland and the stickers I think also came from Poundland but I just thought it's just pretty it's something else that can actually just be sent through the post if you wanted to send a little note this one so I've just sort of get, getting into stamping with the zebra 
um, again this paper and this actual card came from Poundland as did the washi tape the little bow actually came off I think it came off the top of some toiletry and the stamp of a zebra and I've just added some gems that I also got from Poundland so I thought that was just a, a sweet little card maybe for a boy this one I did make for my husband to a classic husband um, again using stamps I just love the card design on this so there we are it's that one then my birthday card to my father is this one now I did get these cards um, with hugs and kisses um, from um, Poundland so I thought they were quite reasonable and they've got this little bit of um, a ridge here then these embellishments I actually got from I believe all these came from the range so I think it's just a little simple card um, easily put together but you've made the effort to make a card I believe especially with starting out cards don't need to be that complicated now I've made a few of these um, in different styles. This one was for my son's birthday. Um, this bit, this card, I've got a Sizzix machine, so I cut this out. Um, it's quite easy if you've got the letters, so you can just add um, for the occasion yourself. And again, I've used these um, cogs that I got from Amazon, and these circle. Um, gold embellishments I got reduced um, from Poundworld. Um, the paper came from Poundland. Um, I might have hauled that actually recently because I wanted to get in and make some mail cards. So that one is for my son. Wait, that was for his birthday. Um, this one's shade different again with the card, um, the cogs. Um, I've explained where all the embellishments came from. It's the same as the previous card. And then another one to the set I've made. Um, I got some of these keys, again from Amazon, very reasonable. And I just think that's a lovely little card, again, for mail. It is, I'm sure people will agree, it is quite difficult to make mail cards. Right, this range, I actually got from the range, this 3D embellishment one um, with the hearts and everything and from the range again I bought the sheet with three days to make these girly cards now some of these simple cards I do make when I'm away in the caravan because they're quite easy to make and they don't take a lot of supplies and mess right from Poundland I will show you the um, things I got um, to do with the Winnie the Pooh range and even the um, little cardboard tiles they came from Poundland and this 3D one and you also get these little um, pearly embellishments here which makes a change from just using gems so fun in the sun Winnie the Pooh range Following the Winnie the Pooh range is this one. Out comes the sun, which is quite funny actually at the moment since um, we're in the middle of a heat wave. Again, all these papers came from Poundland and so did the card. So it makes a really reasonable card, especially if you're getting into crafting. And the last from the Winnie the Pooh range that I've made is this one which I think is lovely. Again, with all the embellishments, everything can be obtained from Poundland. From the um, Poundland again, I've got the Mickey and Mini range. So again, um, raised up 3D. So I've got a little Minnie Mouse one. I've done this one on gold card. One of my favorite ones is this design. Again, not really complicated just a basic card and another one of my favorites is this one oh boy and again as you can see raised up very easy to make and the last one i have to show you 
is this Minnie the Mouse one. Again, using um, these cards that I've actually got from Poundland. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you will all subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.